Hey, what do you say? This is Boss and Ben speaking out. And I am joined today uh, with a dear friend of mine who is, uh, shall I say, who is a giant in the real estate game. Um, she uh, is a motivator. Uh, she's a dear friend. And we go back 30. <laughs> I, I don't know, something like that. And and I'm I, I'm getting some echo on your system, I think it is. But you hear it? I don't hear it now. You good? Okay. No you hear worries. Me? I don't hear the echo. Okay. Okay. No worries. I think it's just me. I'm, I'm a little slow, slow these days, but you can hear me just fine, though, right? Perfectly. So, Miss Tanisha, I don't know. I got the echo. I don't know what's going on with my, my mic and stuff. Uh, hold on, real quick. Sorry, listeners. I know you guys are tuning in right now, but we have a technical challenge, and I'm going to see if I can fix this. And uh, I'm slow today, so. Give me just a second. I'm going to see if I can to go to my settings and see if I can fix this. Uh, I think, yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, everything looks good. So, I don't know. All right. But you don't hear Echo, do you, Tanisha? I do not. Okay. It's probably just me. You know, it's all good. But if you need me to, I can. Do you hear an echo when I speak? Yeah, I just heard that echo. But it's all right. It's all right. We're going to keep the party going. Um, so anyway, welcome to Men Speaking Out, uh, guests, listeners. Um, I have Nisha with me. And she, like I said, once again, is a dear friend of mine for 30 plus years. And tonight's subject is, is enough a moving target. Now, what do I mean when I say that, right? Um, we have, um, shall I say, are we happy with what we have? Or do we always want more? Right? So are we, do we have enough right now? Like, for example, and I hate to re relate this to money, but I'm going to because most people can relate to this example. So if say if you know you, you you make a decent salary, you got a home, you got a car, you got your kids, everybody's healthy, life is good. But here I'm going to give you another hundred thousand dollars. You had enough before you got the hundred grand, right? You had, you had enough literally. But now you got a little extra income, a life changing income at that. Do you have enough? Will you go out and pursue more? Or will you still keep what you have and not upgrade your life or, or, or anything around you? Or do you have enough? So, Tanisha, I asked a million dollar question. Is enough a moving target? Well. I honestly feel enough is a moving target and it's, it's one of those things that we have to decide what our balance is going to be because I mean, there's always, and I'm just getting situated. I want to see if I can change my um, mic and speaker settings. Can you hear me better now? Um, I can always hear you. Okay. So anyway, enough is a moving target. Um, I feel that we tend to look at others and always try to compare ourselves to where we are and where we think we should be. I don't think it being a moving target is necessarily a negative thing, though, because I think for some of us, it, it's that thing that propels us to do more, be more, and to achieve our goals. What do you think? Uh, 
if I can come off mute. Um, I think that we uh, we it, we uh, have a elusive endpoint. Yeah. And I say that because elusive is another word for illusion. Okay. And so we go to the end point of something. Uh, I know why I'm hearing myself. I'm sorry, because I am, I have my YouTube playing in the background. I was about to say, I can hear you through your speaker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm good. Now I'm good. Okay. <laughs> see? Uh, all right. All right. Okay. Now I'm slipping in my pimping. Okay. All right. I'm sorry about that. All right. So now I'm good. Now I can hear you. You can hear Woo! me. Life is good. And that goes up five minutes and 56 seconds gone, but that's all right. We're going to pick it back up on the, on the flip on the backside. All right. So what I was saying is, is that I think that um, it's an elusive endpoint because um, if you think about it, elusive is another word for illusion, right? Does it really exist? Right. And when you see what you currently have, you know, we can sit here right and say right now, we, I got enough. I got, I got good health. I got my money's right. Uh, my kids are doing well. You know, uh, my family is in a good position, you know, but is that, do I want more, right? Are we always trying to pursue more? If we want more on a job, if there's the role you have right now, is that enough, right? So mm -hmm. that's, that's another question too. Income, um, career, are your children doing enough? <laughs> you know, could they be doing more? You know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that. You don't have to answer that question, you know, because we all got kids that can be doing a lot more, but mm -hmm. we love them enough. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. So you sit and think about that. Is Are people really happy? You know, um, when you retire, is retiring at 60 enough? Do you got to go the distance? To get social security, no, it's not enough, is it? But for some people, they say, I'm retired 50 years old, I'm gonna be good, I'm, I'm gonna ride off into the sunset, and then 50 comes, and now you gotta work more because you, it's not enough. It's not so, it's a constant moving target. You see what I'm saying? And some people may believe that no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with what I got, okay, okay, that's fine. Let somebody offer you something more. And let's see what you have. Is that enough? Do you have enough love? Right? That's, I mean, that's not to be materialistic things. It could be something as simply as you feel in love. Are you loved enough? And that's why I said in the beginning, it's always a moving target because you're you're not ever going to sit still unless you're just that one person who's just going to stagnate for the rest of their life there's always something to look forward to and it doesn't even matter where you are i know we like to try and measure ourselves by our accomplishments and whether or not we've done enough of this but it doesn't matter where we are and when we think about being enough there's always that point where we always want more but where we are, someone's striving to get to that point where we are. Mm -hmm. And so there's always that constant cycle of we got to keep pushing forward, got to keep pushing, got to keep moving. Now, we can be, I think, satisfied with where we are and we can be satisfied in the fact that we've done the things that we most of the things. Because I don't think anyone's going to ever do all the things. I mean, just that rare unicorn, but we've done most of the things that we said we would do and we're comfortable and satisfied in that. But we also know that there's the opportunity to do more and mm -hmm. being enough is that. And sometimes maybe we need to just think about that word enough. Is that even the right word that we should be using? Because when we say, are we enough? And I know right now it's like, and you know, in the self-empowerment world, you know, for us women, we're trying to tell ourselves that yes, we are enough because so, you know, many times we're told we got to do more to get just the bare minimums. And so we get to that point where 
that's ingrained in us that we're always having to do more that we start to I think look down on ourselves and tell ourselves that we're not enough just because of those types of situations and that type of learning that we've had to endure but I think within ourselves saying that you know knowing that we're going to always strive for more does not necessarily mean that we're not enough. Right. Well, and that's the thing, right? I mean, who sets the who sets the baseline? Right? What's the barometer on that? Right? Who's to determine what's enough and what's not? Right? You know, you get in your job, for example, you you're working, you're doing a great on your on in your in your role and, you know, and you've already have proven yourself to be more than enough for the next promotion, but you don't get it. And now the million dollar question is, did I do enough? What did I did not, what, why did this person advance? And I didn't, did I do enough to get that opportunity that I know I deserve, right? And someone might come across and say, well, you didn't do enough. You know, you could have did this, you could have did that, you could have did that. But well, damn, what's, <laughs> what's enough, right? Is it it's an illusion? It's an illusion, an, an illusion, elusive endpoint. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist. Enough doesn't exist. Enough does exist. Does it? Yes, we have to be willing to accept it. Enough does exist. Okay, I'm with you. Now I'm gonna challenge you on that, right? Because okay. I, I, I love you, all right? Enough does exist, but the society, uh, the society, does society allow us to think that way, right? Because in some cases, we can always have more. We can always do better. We can always go harder. We can always train. We can always think smarter. We can always, right? So it's those herbs, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> you know, that tells you right there that there's more of that particular subject or arena that what you're doing right now is not enough. Are you woman enough? Or, yeah, of course. <laughs> Of course, exactly. I was, right. I, I was, was yes, I expected. I was obviously. born a yeah. I was born a woman, so I'm woman enough. Okay, in that, gotcha. In that sense of the word, but there's always going to be more. There's always going to be more. And when you ask about being a woman, I don't know how much more of a woman than you can be other than being born a woman. Because okay. So that tells us in itself that enough exists. Well, let's reverse that a little bit. How many times have you heard a woman say he wasn't man enough? What does that mean from a woman's perspective? That's from it. a woman's perspective. Girl, he wasn't man enough for me. <laughs> and what? that just, okay, so. Would you understand my question? No, I do understand your question, but here's the same thing, though. It's mm -hmm. always going to depend on the people involved in that situation because man enough for her is different than man enough for me. So if she can go around and saying that you or any man wasn't man enough for her, then her definition of a man is going to be betraying to whatever her upbringing, her environmental norms were. But that man cannot go around saying that he's not enough man just because one woman said that he wasn't man enough for her. And I think that's where we have to decide what are we willing to accept? Are we willing to accept that we're enough? Are we willing to accept that there is a such thing as enough? I know you said in this elusive target that is always moving. Well, more is always going to be there. We have to decide what that end point is going to be for us. Our, have we done enough? And if the answer is no, then keep going. But if the answer, if you feel strongly in the fact that you've done enough, then that's your truth. And I think we need to stop trying to please and appease other people who, like you say, don't do much for us.
to try and fit into that. Well, I need to do this in order to feel like I'm enough for them. Because at the end of the day, being enough isn't really for us. It's for other people when we talk about it in this scope right here. Mm -hmm. And people pleasing is, is that slippery slope is dangerous because it can bring us into a point where we're depressed about who we are, how we're living. I've been there, you know, and, or on the flip side of that, you're receiving, you know, animosity, jealousy, you know, ill tendencies from other people who wish they were where you are. I agree. So, so it's, so enough is subjective. is what I'm hearing. It's subjective. Okay. Okay. Now, going back to my original question, being man enough. <laughs> okay. I, I know. I, I know. This is men speaking out. I got I to gotta put it, it out there. So, so let's hear it so he can address it. Okay. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, is that, you know, a man is... Just like you, he's born. He's born a, a, a man, you know. And, and 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 before I go any further, let me make sure that I let the listeners know that, you know, there's no gender bias here or anything whatsoever. You know, uh, we love everybody, and I just want to make sure I'm very crystal clear when I speak on this subject. Um, that was my disclaimer, right? So, so anyway, uh, if and I've heard it a lot, right? You know, um, he wasn't man enough, and. And I'm like, okay, well, what is man enough? You know, if the man's, you know, uh, being uh, protecting and he's and he's and he's treating you right and things of that nature, but he maybe he didn't have, maybe he didn't have enough money, maybe his pockets weren't deep enough for that person, right? And that's subjective. That is subjective. But I think we've been culturally conditioned to that barometer is always moving. We're not satisfied with what we got right here or right here, shall I say? We want a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. So are we ever truly happy or satisfied? Right? Some people are. It's subjective. Some people are. Yeah. Right? The majority, probably not so much. Exactly. And, and that, <laughs> it relates to, like you say, that, that cultural upbringing and teaching that we have people telling us what a man is supposed to do or what a woman is supposed to do, which is why I, when I, when you asked me if I was woman enough, my answer was, yep, I was born a woman. So I'm woman enough. What more woman can I be than that? Now I know there are people who are saying, you know, women need to cook clean, you know, go to work, take care of the kids, take care That's of the right. kids. Take care of the kids. Do, take care do, of it, man. do it all. Cook, and, and I can clearly tell you right here on this podcast that I'm not her. I tried it. <laughs> I'm not her. And I'm not doing that. So yeah, I can in that say say, you know okay. what? You can come to me and say, oh, Tanisha, she's not woman enough for me because she's not doing X, Y, Z. Just the same as, you know, Sally can come and say, Ben's not man enough because he's not doing A, B, C. True. That's true. That's true. It's subjective. But then it depends on how does Ben and Tanisha feel about themselves because I'm telling you, I'm woman enough. I know that's right, huh? Snap, snap, snap. Let's, uh -huh. let's snap them all day. I'm woman enough. <laughs> All right. No, I got that. We got a few people have uh, made some comments. And uh, I think Latanya Horn says enough exists per individual. It's mindset versus experience. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? You think that's that's valid? And, and it's valid. It. It's mindset. OK. And OK. Experience. All right. And we got my man at headquarters says a person's actions should match their words. And when it don't, that person is not enough. Or when it doesn't. It's not enough. What do you think about that? Basically, I'm here and there. What I'm what I'm reading between the lines is integrity, right? But, but is that? Go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. I'm, no, a, I say. But is that our definition of enough? When you uh, integrity is different from being enough. Uh, that's your character, your your morals, how you're living your life. That's your integrity, but. I think enough 
you can state that someone doesn't have enough integrity for you, mm-hmm. but I think we've already determined that it's subjective. Um, like when we think about enough in the job circumstances, we've already said there is a such thing as being enough. So if we know that in order to be promoted, we have to do a certain number of things. And if we feel like we've done those things and someone else is being promoted over us, then in that standpoint, is it the matter of someone has done more than enough? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't mean you haven't done enough. Perhaps someone's done more than enough. Now, if someone tells you you haven't done enough, then there's that measure there. So I guess what I'm getting at is there is a measure somewhere that someone has to that point of enough. And we have to figure out how far towards that end are we willing to go. Okay. Okay. You know, it's interesting too, because in my, in my, um, my thought process in my opinion is, is that, you know, um, society uh, has determined what's enough and what, what, what enough looks like, what is it supposed to look like air quotes, right? What it's supposed to look like as far as even when it comes to like weight and, you know, and, and health and whatever, right. You see these commercials, for example, about like Viagra or whatever, and they show this, woman coming into the house and she's cutting up more the man's coming at home and he, and uh the woman's maybe cutting up some fruit and then next thing you know it cuts to a scene they're walking outside and they got these two beautiful people per se now of course obviously you know they don't show anything other than, than just interaction with talking and laughing and ha 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 but they have a certain type of person in the space when they promote that right to show that this is the ideal person or when it comes to like the the the, the weight loss commercials or when it comes to like you know the, the getting fit you know tough guy big guy whatever they have a certain type of image that they portray and then what we do is we look at that and say well shit I want I want to be you know and and then now our enough is out the window because we want to be what we see, not who we originally are. So I think in some situations, like you said earlier, it has an emotional impact in understanding what enough looks like from your lens versus somebody else's. Because like you just said, I'm born a woman. I'm woman enough. I get it. But there could be another woman or man to say, hey, you know what? I don't eat enough of this or I don't work out enough or I don't, you know, I don't spend enough money on this or, or whatever. I don't make enough. It, it, it's just it's always moving because you're never in a in a in a satisfied state. Right. So it's very hard sometimes unless you just don't give a damn about any whatever it's very hard to kind of put your fit your finger on enough because it's one day is here the next day is here it's here then it's here because i'm sure right now if you do the math five years ago you think totally different than you do today right mm-hmm. okay and then five years before that you did too right mm-hmm. And maybe somewhere in that 10 year span, you know, and even today, you think you got enough. Right? But other individuals, and I myself is included, maybe I didn't think I had enough. I'm not talking about so much materialistic things. I'm talking, maybe I didn't think I was strong enough. Maybe I didn't think I was uh, a, a, a good enough father. Or husband for that matter. And I was trying to improve and read books and watch YouTube videos and, and stuff. Well, I understand those help relationships, but maybe I have a the high enough self-esteem to say, you know what? I am enough across all spectrums. 
And there are people that deal with that every single day. And it's disheartening, actually. So when when you speak like that and, and think like that, because I think we should always be evolving as people, mm -hmm. as a person. Mm -hmm. So striving to be better, I don't think necessarily negates the fact that you are enough. I think you can be enough or have enough, but still want to be better. Um, I, I think sometimes when, when it comes to that enough word, we tear ourselves down behind it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably where we should get a little better at saying, you know, because for some things, yeah, there are some hard, there's some hard, is that enough? Yes. There's a hard, yes, that's enough, or you are enough, or, but others, that target is going to always be moving. And I think as long as we can identify the fact that it is a moving target, but it doesn't mean we're not where we need to be or supposed to be, because we haven't reach the highest pinnacle of that because there's always going to be someone i mean we we hear we always know it there's always going to be someone more you know skinnier than us smarter than us richer mm -hmm. than us all the things but even for those people there's someone that they have to reach toward to or they can compare themselves to that bar is always moving the bar is all there's always another rung on the ladder basically yes and we may not ever get all the way up to the top right and no. at some instances we may slink down a couple times so i think we should be comfortable enough to say i have enough i am enough there is more. I don't have to stay where I am just because I have enough, but I don't have to beat myself up either because I haven't gotten here in two years or there in, you know, how, you know, we call it the microwave society where everything is almost just instant, like we have to have everything instantly. Sometimes it takes time. Sure. Sometimes we have to work towards it. And, and that during those times that we're working towards it, it may seem like we are not enough. We don't have enough. But then we can look back and I mean, because I know sometimes I look back and be like, oh, my gosh. And that moment, I probably felt like I did not have enough. But now that I'm here, I was having the time of my life. And, and I would love to be there again just because it was so much simpler mm -hmm. that I can see now. I mean, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, there's just so, I mean, so, so many ways we can talk about being enough. And when it comes to even reaching out to our men and, and embracing them and letting them know that you're enough. I think we need to have that conversation too, where we're able, because it seems like that main conversation, that main piece that you said, he wasn't man enough for me, that their phrase is spoken so much more so than he's a good guy. He was enough. We just didn't mesh. And I think we need to hear sometimes from each other that we are enough where we are. Right now, we are enough. Thank you. That was that was that was well 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 put. Um, I think, you know, and, and this is straight away from the relationship side. I think for a man, you know, and well, I guess all people want to be respected. They want to make sure they have earned enough respect, yeah. right? Um, I think for, 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 for women, I think they want to make sure they have enough security, mm -hmm. right? 
You know, they want to be secure in their relationship. They want to be secure on their well, whatever they want, right? And I think, but both want to make sure they want to, they have enough happiness and love as well, right? So I think at the end of the day, it's really, it's really to me, it's just, it's a sad thing that individuals are not thinking they are enough as a whole, right? Nobody's perfect. Nobody, we all make mistakes. Nobody is is better than the other person. I think in the last last podcast, I said instead of us honoring up, we need to honor across and down. Right? Everybody gets respect in the whole spectrum. Everybody gets respect, no matter who you are. Okay. But at the same token, you shouldn't treat people any different just because they don't have as much or enough as you and some individuals they ride that coattail they they appear when that person doesn't have as much or enough in their eye but we all put our pants on one leg at a time don't we Mm -hmm. i don't jump into my pants do you (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah you know, <laughs> you know, you know when it's mean? time to get into the jeans both legs go in and it's a hop hop <laughs> well you know, you know my, my narrow ass i don't have that problem <laughs> you know, so, no but, but um, yeah. I, I understand I, I get what you're saying yeah and we always sit, make say that phrase i wish i had enough mm-hmm. man i wish i had enough and so it's 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 disheartening and, and, and you know and i just I guess the goal of this podcast is for individuals to to really understand that you are enough, you have enough, you don't let anybody tell you that you aren't, you know, you set the tone, you know, of your enoughness, and you don't have anything to prove to the world, not just social media, not, you know, for likes uh, or, or for your, that, that dopamine, right, that feel good. You are enough mm-hmm. because I'm going to lie and I'm going to be totally transparent on this podcast and I'm going to put it out there in the universe. There was a time when I think I wasn't enough. Now I'm more than enough now. I mean, you know, why I'm today, you know, I'm just saying, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> just joking. It's all jokes. Mm-hmm. Like stay, stay smiling. But my therapist told me to stop smiling so much. She said, to stop smiling so much. To stop smiling. She okay. said, because I'm hiding pain. Mm. She said, Jamil, you mask it very well. Mm-hmm. And not saying that I shouldn't smile. She said, but you, I've had a, when have you ever known me to be frown or frowny face? Not, that ain't me. Not much. No. Yeah. You know, I mean, I frowned a couple of times too, but in my experience is that and I'm and I'm smiling because I'm trying to mask that enoughness you know was I was I a good enough father you know was I was I a good enough husband was I a good enough friend and I was like all right so it's cool I'm yeah. it's all right but in the back of my mind am I doing enough for my community Right. Yeah. So I'm not necessarily saying that it's a, it's a, it's a bad thing to, to smile, but sometimes you, you got to sit and think about, you know, is 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 it a mask? Am I masking enough of me? Am I masking the enoughness? Does that make sense? I understand what you're saying and and how you're saying it because I'm the same way. And and what I would tell people is, you know, it's a lot easier to smile and mask whatever needs to be hidden because, and this is, this is a point I was going to get to when you were talking about that. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that are we surrounding ourselves with the right people that are going to, let us know that we can be ourselves Mm -hmm. because I think a lot of times we're trying to 
portray that we are enough, have enough, you know, in, in fact, it's not even enough that we're trying to portray. It's more than enough that we're trying to portray mm-hmm. that we, we can do all the things, you know, be, you know, amongst the smartest in the bunch, all the things, but really we're just pretending because internally we're not thinking that we we are enough i mean so we smile internally saying okay i don't think i'm enough but if we've got enough people who are just around to just watch and and they're doing their own little dance as well so they're trying to catch up to whatever they feel is enough no one's really edifying one another Mm -hmm. It's just everyone's in their own little ecosystem trying to be better than the next person. Yeah, it's terrible, ain't it? It's awful. It is. And, competition. And competition. And it's like, who do you have that's truly reaching out to you to say, you know what? And and this goes for all of our relationships, all, all, all the things that I like. Because even for me today, I had to call my father and say, you know what? I've just been thinking about it. Because I've been thinking about him for a long time. I just hadn't called him. Mm-hmm. And just to say, I love you. I'm thinking about you. I love you. And I think we need to be that way for the people in our circle as well. So just let them know, I see you. Mm-hmm. Because I think a lot of times... We feel people don't see us and it would feel good to hear. It would feel good to hear, Jamil, that you are enough, wouldn't it? That would be, it would feel great to hear that. It would feel awesome for someone to say, man, you're enough. You are. You you're know. doing a great thing. You're enough. Yeah, but that's but that's that's far and few between. It is. And, and, and that's the point. always being raised, right? You know, it's always it's always some sort of a, shall I say, it's 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 always based on some fictitious endpoint. Like I said, the illusion. You know that you feel you got to do more, you got to say more, you got to show more. You got, well, well, well hell, <laughs> haven't I done enough? <laughs> you know what I mean? This this does the work that I do, or the person I am. Does that not go? Does that not acknowledge? Right? Same thing for you, right? right? You said at the beginning of this podcast, you said, I'm woman enough. Point blank, period. Drop the mic, done. Yeah. That's it. But once again, society is determining what's enough for you. And me mm-hmm. and everybody else. You know, society says live in a big house, great job, white picket fence, 2.5 children. I don't know how that works out, 2.5 kids, but whatever. Mm-hmm. And and now you're living the American dream. You've you've made it. You you finally have enough. Well, who put that out there like that? Who's the one to determine that? Who? Right? Who? Exactly. So it's to me, it's just it's just a, a, a never ending battle. But people must love themselves in order to understand if they are enough. That's it. And they should not be trying to appease anyone. That, in my opinion, this is my opinion. I always say this is my old saying. Not putting a roof over my head. Clothes on my back or food in my stomach. You have no say in my enoughness. True. You know. True. So, and that's, that's something that we're we're always. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. It's something that we're always gonna have to work on, Jamil, because even as we have this conversation and we rationalize our thoughts behind it we're still going to go back and at some point feel like i'm not enough uh, I, there we're going to have those days where we're going to go back and feel like i'm not enough i have to do this this because there's so many variables 
so many variables and i know and i'll say this for me personally that i consider mm -hmm. myself a christian okay and i know that we serve a mighty god and he's put enough within us that we all are enough are capable we're all capable we can do mighty things but in knowing that I still have this thing where I, I did. And, and as we were, as you had brought out the topic that you wanted to discuss, you know, and I thought about a few things in my life, I felt that I wasn't Christian enough, mm -hmm. that I wasn't a good enough Christian so that I would not even talk about the fact that I believe in God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or, you know, things like that, because I don't feel like I'm the perfect I'm not perfect enough to be a Christian. And that is so, I think that is so elementary in how we start to form our senses around who do we believe in, who is putting that within us. Because at some point, someone like me can say, I'm not Christian enough. I'm not a good enough Christian to go to church now what kind of sense does that make but mm -hmm. you feel like when you do go through the doors that everybody in there is this perfect christian and we know they're not and then then we start to do things like well you know <laughs> nobody in church is christian so i'm not going because i, I you know so it's a conversation that we'll have multiple times with ourselves um and we'll just have to catch ourselves to put ourselves in check to say, you know what? Stop it. Just stop. Yes, it. exactly. Put ourselves in check. Exactly. And keep ourselves grounded in our enoughness. Right. Because mm -hmm. who am I to tell you that you're not a, a good enough Christian or you, you know, or a good oh, enough person. Right. Yeah. I have no, I have no right to even make that come out of my freaking mouth whatsoever. You know, but you we are. hear it. It's that judgment from others. We hear it. Yeah, and that's the that's what that's what that's a that's a problem we have. Right, we are the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Right, mm -hmm. and we have so. got so many opinions. And I think I heard on a Joe Madison show that opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. <laughs> so, so anyway, I just wanted to. I'm gonna wrap this up a little bit, but I wanted to. To, if you don't mind sharing with me, you know, just for the listeners out there, to uh, words of encouragement of some sort to to let them know they are enough. And just you know if you got anything you want to share with the listeners. Sure. So here's what I, I would say, because it's something that I guess I want for myself too. And, you know, I mean, you mentioned that you're in therapy. I'm in therapy also. Mm -hmm. And I highly recommend that if you feel any certain way that you're competing to be enough it, and it's starting to drag you down, first start with the people around you. Um, you know, try and find those people that are going to be a support for you who are going to be, who listen because I, we mentioned it's easy to hide how we're really feeling, and it's, mm -hmm. but it's exhausting. So start to recognize within yourself what it is that you're feeling uncomfortable about. And those people that are around you, they should also be able to feel what you're uncomfortable about. Because those are the people who are looking out for you. Try and find those people. And if you can't find them find therapy because we should not be walking around feeling like we're not enough. We just shouldn't. I mean, we were given so much so many years ago. We should not be feeling like we're not enough. Well put. Thank you, Tanisha. I, I really appreciate that. And I'm just going to add to what you kind of said you know, um, back in February, uh, or early March this year, I did a show called Man Enough. 
right? But everything we were talking about, not just that just doesn't apply to men. It applies to everyone. Everyone. Like I said earlier, being smart enough, being caring enough, being loved enough or loving enough, right? And being empathetic enough, right? A lot of the characteristics that you can't necessarily grab and touch, but you can feel. And I think that we all are enough in our own right. And we shouldn't let, not let anybody dictate our enoughness. I think that we need to be a much more aware of who we are and like, you know, um, therapy is um, very, very good for those who are trying to find their way, their journey and understanding their enoughness. So I say that in closing that you are, all of you are more than enough. And don't let anybody tell you that you aren't. No kids, no spouse, no job, no nothing. Just do your best. Never assume. Be impeccable with your word. And don't take it personal. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. And that's a win. That's a win across the board. So, Tisha, thank you very much. I really thank appreciate you. you. You know coming in you know uh what's that in your background love the what the picture with the, love the skin you're in love the skin you're in there you go mm -hmm. love the that's snap, that's snap, 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 snap. <laughs> <laughs> love the skin you're in i like that i like that y'all hear that listeners love yes. the skin you're in and by the way tanisha before we before we go um i believe that you have some sort of show or podcast, maybe, or things of that nature. I wanna, I wanna share. I mean, you, you're a guest on my show. I gotta. The right thing to do is to, is to, for you to give you a plug. So please take the next few seconds to talk about you, your show, what's going on, what it is. I'll keep it short because it's short right now. Okay. But I um. Yes, I am in the process of doing conversations with Tanisha, and it will be a show where I will have just poignant conversations, um, some silly, some, you know, just with your friends, like your homegirl, you know, you're just hanging out, talking, it's going to be that kind of thing, and one of the things that I really do like is getting to know people and asking questions. So if you know someone who's an interesting soul um, that other people should know about, um, hit me up. Yeah. Um, socials, Tanisha D. Harris, Facebook, um, Tanisha Talks Homes, Instagram, Facebook too. Yeah, you can find me. Just look for Tanisha D. Harris and okay. I'll be around. Can I be, Thanks. can I be a guest on your show? Can absolutely. <laughs> no, seriously. Absolutely. Okay. So. I'm looking we'll, forward we'll, to it. We'll schedule that. I'm so excited. I feel like breakdancing. It's all good. <laughs> You're a little way. That's it. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, no. But we do need to karaoke. So, hey. Okay. Okay. I can. I think I can sing a couple bars, you know, maybe mm -hmm. one or two. So we got to set that up. Yeah. We'll set that up. Absolutely. Well, listen, right, thank you very much. I appreciate you. God bless you. you. You're a wonderful friend for 30 some years. And I want to continue our friendship forever in a day, in a day, in a day. You know, maybe when we retire, Barbie. when we have when we have enough, <laughs> we can ride this to the wheels roll off. It's all good. Right. And everyone, please visit us, men speaking out um and dot com. And we're on all the major platforms, Apple, uh, Google Play, our heart radio as well. Um, and other platforms um, that you probably don't know about, but they do exist. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Appreciate you. God bless. And uh, take care. Bye. Good night.